Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how we can create a custom reference library and run MyXCR with it. You might want to do that if you work with a rare species for which MyXCR does not have a built-in reference, or probably it's a genetically modified species like humanized mice, and then you want to provide a custom reference for MyXCR to align your reads. I'm going to start with opening the terminal, go to the folder custom library where I have the files. And now for this tutorial, we're going to create a custom reference library for a heavy chain of immunoglobulins of armadillo. And in this folder, I have three FASTA files with gene segment sequences, one for each of the gene segments of the heavy chain. To give you a sneak peek into the file, let's look into the B genes file. And you see it is a regular FASTA file. We have gene names in the header of every sequence. And these names are going to be used in the MyXCR output files and also the sequence of every gene. And we have similar files for every gene segment, like D genes, for example, here. That's all we need essentially to create a custom reference library, and MyXCR has a dedicated command for that. I'm going to type MyXCR build library. First thing I have to provide is the name of the species, and this is going to be armadillo. And this is the name that we're going to use later in MyCR analyze command. Now the chain is IGH. The next required parameter here is taxon ID. And for Armadillo, it is 9361. But keep in mind that if you work with species that do not have an official taxon ID, or probably you work with genetically modified organisms, you can use any four digit number here. Next, I'm going to provide the file with B genes, and the parameter is called the B genes from pasta. And now the name of the file. The next thing I have to provide is the region which is covered by the sequences in my B genes FASTA file. And here, the sequences that I've shown you above, they cover the region starting from framework one to framework three. And that means that the gene feature is V region. Now, keep in mind, if your sequences start with the leader or probably with the beginning of the axon two, you have to specify the gene feature accordingly. Now, the next thing is the J genes from pasta. And here I'm again going to use the pasta file. And finally, D genes from pasta. Now, because not all chains have D genes, D genes is an optional parameter here. Since we work with heavy chain, we do have the D genes pasta file. Same goes for the constant region. It is an optional parameter. If you have the constant region sequences, you can specify them in a similar manner. And finally, I'm going to name my output file armadillo igh library.json.gz. I'm going to hit enter now. This typo. Next, I have finished creating the library, and we see here that that's our output file. Now, if you work with both heavy and light chains, you can also create a library for a light chain using the same command. And then when you have two libraries, one for a heavy chain and one for a light chain, you can merge those two into one single library file. 
We're not going to use it here as we do not have the light chain sequences, but I'm going to just briefly show you this command. It's mycr merge library, and then we provide the name of the first library file. The second one, again, if we had one, let's say it was would have been called igkl library JSON and the output name. This command would have merged two libraries together and you would have the single library file for both heavy and light chain. But again, we are not using that here. And now we're going to run the analysis on a sample files that I have right here in the raw folder. And I'm going to run mycr analyze command with the generic amplicon preset. I'm going to specify the species, which is armadillo, the name that we used while creating the library. Now the library file is armadillo igh library. Now notice that my library file is located in the same directory where I run my XCR from. That is one of the options of where I can put this library file. It's not the only option, and you can read other options in our documentation. I'm going to leave the link in the description to this video. And finally, I'm going to provide the standard parameters. The material is RNA now loading left alignment boundary loading right alignment the boundary in the CG and the input files in the raw folder and I'm also going to use this wild card, which allows me to pass both input files in one line, in one string. And I'm going to put the results in the result with the prefix output. That's pretty much it. I'm going to hit enter here. Fix the typo. That's pretty much it. We right away see that the successfully aligned reads consist of 97.5%, which is pretty high. And finally, I'm just going to show you the report for alignment. And here we see that successfully aligned reads 97%. And there are only point one percent of the reads that did not align due to the absence of the hit which means that our library worked perfectly and all of the reads were successfully aligned now that's it for today i'm gonna also leave the link to the documentation where you can read about other parameters to the function that we use today and thank you for watching